and welcome back to another episode of United We Stand, Divided We Podcast. I am Robert from just outside Nashville, Tennessee, in good old US of A, and my co host. And you already know my name's right below me. It's Lionel, <laughs> and I am from Toronto, Canada. And uh, we have to get the we, Toronto pronunciation correct Toronto, Canada. Uh, yes, yes. You probably think it's Toronto, but it's Toronto. Well, we won't get into that too much. We are we we have another great act, episode for you today. Uh, really good, and I'll let Robert get into the into uh, into that. We got a lot of things we want to talk about, but uh, it's yeah, going to be fun. awesome. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So we have a special guest. Uh, I actually met him through the um, Video Ranking Academy. It's a program that we're both a part of. And we got to chat in one day and we gave each other some you know, tips and ideas on our videos. And uh, I offered to, you know, if he wanted to come on, he said, sure. So obviously I jumped on it. It's going to be awesome. He's a cool, real cool dude. So welcome, Jesse from Utah. Hello, everybody. How are you? What's up? How are you doing? Good to have you here. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. This is my first opportunity to do a podcast and I'm excited. I really am. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So um, one of the first things I want to do is I kind of mentioned to you in a chat we were in is uh, I want to say thank you very much for your service. He is a 24 year retired Air Force. So thank you so much. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to Lionel too, even though he's not in the U.S., but he appreciates military service. Yeah. If I if I could just really briefly explain why it means as much to me. My family uh, on my father's side uh, has a long history of serving in, in the Canadian forces, uh, Air Force, Navy, so on and so on. And several members uh, perished in uh, World War One, World War Two, uh, and 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 from complications afterwards, as many right. others did. Um, and obviously, some survived, thankfully, as well. Um, yeah. Now, I know that's Canadian forces, but uh, a, the thing is, is the long-standing history that we have and two countries yeah. of serving together okay. not just oh we were in the same war but many 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 times over many wars and battles canadians have served yeah. under an american general uh, uh an american served under a, a canadian general or colonel uh and all th- all both of them under a british and all three of them under an american again yeah. and, and it's just a relationship we have and and so when i i want to always say thank you for your service because Listen, we live in countries that may not be as free as we want them to be, as we all know, but they're still freer than they're most. much freer than a lot of the world. And mm-hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, so that's it. So thank you for your service. And that's well, thank you. I mean, it really does mean a lot. And it, it was an honor. Um, it was just under 26 years. And wow. I had the opportunity to serve both enlisted and as an officer. I did 15 years enlisted and then 10 years as a an officer nice. on aircraft maintenance. And so. I got the best yeah. of both worlds, I would say, and uh, it was, yeah. I mean, greatest time of my life, uh, but it was time to move I, on. I, I really have to ask because I, swear, I, I like, like, like most Americans and Canadians in my age group anyways, I, of course, watched 11 years of MASH, uh, <laughs> and I heard the word enlisted man so many times in those 11 years and i don't know what that means please tell me all right all right an enlisted person is someone that is not a degree holding and has gone through a commissioning source like um rotc okay. the reserve officer training corps oh, okay graduated from uh, a university with a four-year degree and entered the military as an officer and took the commission to serve the nation um and, uh, and okay. obey the the orders of the president of the United States, basically. So, uh, yeah, as, as an example, let's say I were drafted, uh, I would not be in. I would not be enlisted, or would you, be. Enlisted. You would probably be enlisted. Um, okay. They they generally don't draft officers um, because there's a yeah. there's a requirement associated with it, right? Specifically, the degree, and then also just the an aptitude for yeah uh, for leadership that they'll have. So. One, one more just to just to clarify yeah. i don't i don't want to take it. up all the time just, just with that but yeah. but uh again this is going to be a movie example because <laughs> it's a reference i can get did you see the movie an officer and a gentleman i have okay uh when he went because he needed to get jets when he went through that program that meant he wasn't enlisted right 
So right. he wouldn't have been considered. Okay, now I get it. Thank you very much for that. At least now, <laughs> no now I can go back and watch match, and I can understand. Yes, just yeah. how much of a dick yeah. Major Burns really is. <laughs> was, yeah. I was not Major Burns. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, nice, the, the nice thing about being enlisted for so yeah. long is you understand the mentality, and yeah. actually, the enlisted folks that serve under you as an officer, they really respect you because they know where you right. came from. Um, I yeah. made it up to E seven out of the E9 ranks. So there's nine ranks. I was, so I was a master sergeant. So I, I was going to ask all the tiers, um, save yeah. for two of them. Uh, and so everyone that served under me, I related to them. I knew what their, their pain points were and it, it really built a nice relationship um, from the I officer to enlisted perspective. I can't remember if you, if you said what branch uh, were you serving? Air Force. Air Force. Air Force. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, yeah. That's, you know, that's the thing is I, God. I actually at one point did want to actually uh, uh, get into the service. I think yeah. I, I thought I was too old when I finally just said, you know what, I, I should I should do it. And I don't remember what stopped me. I think it was just having some bad times. And at one point, I was like, I just got to get a job right now. And not realizing I would have had a place to stay and food if I had just gone in. Because <laughs> this was in the night. This would, would be in the early 1980s. And in yeah. the early 1980s in Canada, for sure. If you went in and 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 said I want to join, a couple of weeks later you're at boot camp. That's <laughs> wow. it. I mean, it, it's not like that now because now you got to be screened as if you were trying to get a job babysitting. Yes. You know, it's like yes. it's not the same thing anymore. It takes forever to do anything anymore. Uh, yes, but I'm back then, no, it, you know, and it's not like any Canada was going to war in 1983. Or anything <laughs> like that. But but. But they were they they would take you if you if you know if they had a, one spot available you were in it yeah. if you went in and if you weren't there they were there were other options and there was also the reserves the reserves were always looking yeah. for somebody new yeah it's same uh, it's same but, in the U S um, yeah so. well awesome. I tried twice I was medically denied twice so I figured that it was not uh, God did not have that in my plans not in the cards in the man so, yeah <laughs> I moved hey on God had plans for you though God had plans <laughs> yeah. for you obviously you're, yeah. you're where you need yeah. to be. Yes, yes. So uh, I'm I'm okay with it. But I had a buddy of mine. His dad was in the Marines for 35 years, and they made wow. him get out. He didn't want. He's like, I want to die in my uniform. And my dad get out. Get out. Get out. You You're served like, enough. Baby. Here's here's your pension. Here's your gold watch. Get out. <laughs> That's a long time. Yeah. There's a, there's an age at which point uh, if you're not like a four star general or something like I think yeah. 60 is it. You got to go. <laughs> Yeah, I think when he when he had on his dress blues, he had so much weight. <laughs> oh no! On his, I, was like, I was like, "How do you even walk right now?" <laughs> so, so, so like, your whole chest is covered. See what you're basically saying is there's no 93 year old gunnies. No, no, maybe in the reserves. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, I have met I have met oh, really? five year old reservists, so they're out there. But are you sure there weren't militia? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's lots well, of 90 year old militia. Well, out there. Civil War, uh, <laughs> well at least 80, there. 80 year old. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't well, know. Before we move on, one last thing. And uh, please say thank you for your service to your wife because oh, anybody that's been in the military knows that's the unsung hero, the mom yes, and the wife at yes, home. Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. Hats off you to know her what? Cause that's not yeah. easy. And, and, and if, the kid, if you have kids that knew you were away, were born and you were away, hats off to them too. Uh, yeah, I was being without lucky. mommy or daddy, you know, for, for months and more at a time. Yeah. Uh, I was lucky hard. that um, we had our child when I was close to retiring. I was, uh, Oh, three years okay. away from retiring so i didn't go anywhere i made a point of not going anywhere and i nice. made it clear that i am going to be retiring so don't try and yeah somewhere <laughs> well that's yeah. that, that's that's nice then that's awesome yeah. that's awesome so um make sure you guys go check out his blog it is american amer excuse me adventure family vlog <laughs> And he travels a lot of the Americas, and I'm sure he's done some international, which we're going to probably get into that. So yeah. we'll make sure and link uh, his channel in our description. So make sure you go check that out, because one thing that I really like about his blog is the way he educates the viewer. And even though I'm 50 something, uh, there's things I've learned that I did not know from his blog. So I really appreciate the educational side of things. And so it brings me to my first question is what really made you or want to get into doing this type of vlogging content? 
So I've, I've always been a traveler, an adventurer. I want to just get out and experience everything there is to see. Wherever I'm at, it doesn't matter. I'm going to find out what's there to do, what's exciting. Um, and it was ironic. My wife had some surgery, and so she started watching uh, a travel couple called Kara and Nate. And uh, she sent me one of their videos, and I was hooked. They were basically going full-time traveling the world. Uh, and at that point, I think they'd been doing it for five years. Uh, and they wow. just started out with yeah. going, hey, we're going <laughs> to save enough to travel for one year and see what happens. And they made the right decisions. They found the right audience. And they've grown to like three and a half, three, three point seven million followers now. Dang, uh, on, wow. on YouTube. And and as I'm watching them, I'm just like, I love traveling. I love helping people. I love experiencing new things and adventuring. Why don't I do that and see if I can provide a a service and maybe help some people with ideas of what they want to do if they want to go somewhere experience something and hopefully entertain them at the same time and i am kind of a techie i love technology um but it really took some some growing pains and some some uh, experience sitting in front of a camera and just talking to a camera which you guys are pretty used to with your you know your uh well, your yeah, still, get, still getting used to it but uh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah i mean i i just it, and it occurred to me that I want to travel for the rest of my life and I don't want to be 65 when I retire. So yeah. I'll be 50 next year. And by 55, I want to be done working and just on my way to seeing the world, however I want to do it. And if this YouTube channel is an opportunity to get closer to that, then great. Uh, if it isn't, and it's just something I'm passionate about and I get to do for fun, then that's great too. But that's, that's, that's kind of yeah, the that's a good attitude to have. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a good attitude to have. I I like that. Uh, one of the so things you, that I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 go ahead, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna say one of the things that, um, and I'm sure you've heard this in VRA, which um, I'm sure you feel the same as I do. That's been an amazing uh, environment, really. Just overall, yeah. the people that I've met within the Facebook group and uh, some of the content has actually really been extremely helpful. And I've bought other courses before, so I was really apprehensive about buying this. But the only reason why I did is because they have not lived up to what their promise was prior to purchase. Yeah. So that being said, <clears throat> it's been a great course, but um, one of the things that kind of strikes me in the group or what they teach is that you just kind of have to get out there and, yeah. you know, you have to experience it, but the more you do it, the better you're going to be. And, you know, it's funny you say, oh, I have to get used to behind the camera. Cause when I first started this back, I've only been doing this since like, August or September of last year. It's not been that long. Same here. But I'm the kind of guy, I think kind of like you, that like if I'm going to go into something, I go to <laughs> pedal to the floor like 150 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, <laughs> I can I can testify to this. I can also tell you, if you look back at his first five or six videos, you can see a massive difference. Now, this is not an insult. I oh, yeah. told no. you, Robert, in the first place, mm -hmm. yeah. it was just naturally going to get better. And I gave him some advice, too. And it's yep. not that I'm a bread, like, I mean, look at this. I got nothing going on here, but, <laughs> but it, it was the way he carried himself that I said yeah. that will come naturally, but here's a couple of little pieces of it. By the way, you got it in spades. Uh, uh, yes. Well, uh, thank you. I, it's, it's, I, think uh, I got you, a lot of work to do. Watch, I was watching a little bit of your videos there and they're like, it's, like, it's okay. Professionally edited. He's got, he's got the, the voice. You got the, oh, your audio is, is unbelievably well mixed. I got some questions about that a little bit later. Well, we'll carry on with his area there. <laughs> but the bottom line is, is you can see how Robert carries himself in front of the camera. His lighting is yeah. just smack on That's perfect. Great. He's he's made the improvements and looks so much better. I actually have a bunch of stuff that's got to be done in this whole room's getting renovated. By the way, my renovations are coming this weekend. So next nice. week, it ain't going to look like this. Fun. Nice. But nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's finally getting done. Um but nonetheless, so the, everybody improves, and it's a perfect attitude to have. But I will say that having watched a little bit of yours, uh, it, I'm like, man, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of the travel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous that I haven't seen any 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 giant 9,000-year-old, 2,000, <laughs> but I was exaggerating, yeah. year old yeah. trees. I want to see General Sherman for crying out loud. Come on. It's pretty awesome. Um, but I will say this, there are a lot of places on Ontario that you would like. So if you decide you want to come to Canada, I that is wait. one of the places. I'm, I'm telling you, 
we have plans to get up to Canada. Um, I don't know when it's going to happen. I actually want to do a van life or, or mini oh, motor yeah. series. Yeah. Um, and, and we want to hit all the districts and provinces of, of Canada. Um, well, if you and, want, if you or if you're talking about doing a series, like in, in one trip, then there's, oh, wow. That'd be like traveling yeah. across the U S almost yep. not quite. Yep. Cause you have to crisscross up and down. If you do it in the U S in Canada, yeah. it's mostly just, East to west, west to east. <laughs> I will say this: start on the east coast, not because yeah. you get the best in the west, but because if you time everything perfectly fine, you definitely will get probably most of the most scenic stuff for between the east coast and and northern Ontario as you get okay. through there. Uh, as you get into the Prairie Province, I swear, I, you got to <laughs> stop in a couple of towns and cities just yeah. to see what the locals are like but it's very flat it's like traveling through north dakota and parts of montana but without okay. without without montana i don't know what to say everybody says oh big sky country i and i say you know what it's like <laughs> that in manitoba too <clears throat> the only yeah. difference is that montana has a nice reputation for it yeah, yeah. <laughs> very flat very yeah. open <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wait. I've only been to Canada once, and that was to yeah. Whistler, and I went snowboarding there. Oh, nice, um, though. That's a nice place. But we we want to go to Banff sooner than later, um, and that that's just a beautiful area. So I, we're yeah. probably going to take a road trip up there here within the next year and uh, and spend a week just going up and hitting Glacier National Park and, and then into Canada. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you do that, and if, if that's going to be a shorter one, then everything you mentioned yeah. is perfect. If yep. if there's a little bit more time on your hands for that one, I would say that either from there go into BC and check okay. out around Vancouver. It doesn't have to technically be Vancouver. It yeah. could be other towns around Vancouver. Um, uh, yeah. But being closer to Calgary, you might want to check out Calgary. Now, if you're going sure. there, if you're going to Banff in the winter to go skiing, there's not that much going on in Calgary. If you go right. in the summer, of course, you can plan for the Calgary Stampede. Oh, uh, Banff is really cool, even if it is in the summer. It's just well skiing. Yeah, heck yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for the tips. I, I yeah. if it if when the time comes, because to me it's going to be a win. Uh, yeah, 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 we're we're going to be hitting all the U.S. states and all U.S. Uh, the Canadian provinces and, and districts. Wow, nice. yeah. So you, you're going to have something that's going to be like a couple of years worth of loss. Yes. It will. Yeah. <laughs> <For sure>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that sounds like something where you could. Uh, you could uh, be doing a uh, uh, East Coast, uh, 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 up New England, and uh, and then into the Maritimes yep. in Canada, and then back down into New York or something like that, and into Ontario, and come back down into uh, mm -hmm. Michigan, and <laughs> we're just zigzag up and down the yeah, the yeah, yeah. It would and that would work because most of what you want to see in Canada is within a hundred to two hundred uh, kilometers or miles at least of of the border. So that's it's awesome. not a lot of travel I northward. Yeah, <laughs> Most awesome. of, but it, on the Maritimes, you may you may choose to be there slightly longer because there's a lot of places uh, up in Newfoundland, uh, Nova yeah. Scotia, Prince Beautiful Edward there. Island. I haven't been yet. And it no. sucks. I meant you to go. To travel. I, I wanted to go a couple of years ago. To photography. <clears throat> My vacation time for me is a photography vacation. Just yeah. taking the camera equipment and going. And I had that planned out. And it was right when the pandemic ended. I could not get a hotel, a bed and breakfast, uh, 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 whatever you call it, uh, Airbnb, or yeah. any of them fake Airbnbs, <laughs> uh, or wannabe Airbnbs, whatever the other ones are called. I couldn't get a plane, a train, or an automobile to rent. Man. I couldn't even bummer. find John Candy in the back of a van. <laughs> I've got nothing. There were no pillows. Nothing. I, 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 so I, I, I eventually I asked him, well, do you have anything available in October? Which is not when I'm going to take my summer vacation, obviously. And he yeah, said, oh, yeah. well, yeah, October 17th, we have a room and I can get you uh, on a train. And I said, well, that's yeah. just lovely. I won't uh, take it, but thanks. Hey, trains, <laughs> trains are fun sometimes. I haven't done a lot. No, of no, that. that's not that. It. It's just, I was, my vacation was first week yeah. of July. Oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah. That yeah, I ended up doing nothing. And then last year, I just drove up to uh, a, a really what I thought was going to be a great spot uh, in, in Ontario. Uh, I wanted to see a cave, and the cave ended up being the size of my bedroom. It, it was just an opening <laughs> in the rock. I was so oh, no. pissed. 
<laughs> and I was too, I, yeah, I was too tired to drive further. I could have seen a lot more, but it, it would have been another three hours just to drive up there. And then I would have been coming back at two in the morning. And I was like, no, oh, man. I remember when he texted me, he goes, I just drove three hours to see this. And he sees a picture of a rock. I'm like, oh, that's a nice rock. <laughs> Oh, I didn't bummer. do I didn't do my research well enough, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. I want I, I in all honesty, I would have preferred some place where I could even go spelunking. I've never been spelunking yeah. in my life. That's I don't know funny. if there is any place around here where I can spelunk. But you gotta be. Eh, maybe. Probably gotta maybe. go further north. Where right. Sudbury or something. There's a it's a mining town, so there's gotta be a, a, a place to spelunk in old mining towns. For real. Well, well, I have, I have one more here. comment about yeah. your channel, and then I have a question, and then I think Sean or Lionel has some stuff that he wants to ask you. So, um, the your attitude about I'm just going to do it because I love to do it is huge because oh yeah, so many people, in, including myself, when I first started, I wasn't like so focused, like I've got to make money, I've got to make money, yeah. but. I got so hyper focused on, you know, oh, I need to get monetized and I need to get this and I need to get that. And it kind of took some of the joy away. And so if you if you do watch some of my videos, you you notice like the now I'm just myself, you know, I'm just relaxed. Yeah. I'm just like, whatever. I look at my my analytics, I look at my channels, I follow what's going on, but I don't stress over it. it's like, yeah, whatever. You know, just like that video that I tagged you on in Facebook. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, yeah, you know, let's just redo it. I mean, it's it's not performing bad, but let's just go ahead and redo it. Ironically, the one I re-uploaded is performing about the same. So that's good. That's good. Actually, a little more watch time. So, you know, it's good. But, um, yeah, it's attitude, man, mm-hmm. and going into it for the right reasons. One day you're going to wake up. You're going to be on vacation somewhere, and you're going to go, holy shit. I just did a million views on this video Okay, let me look at my bank account. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's a great attitude to have. So that's that's paramount. Well, and, um, and the nice thing is I don't I don't need this to be my sole source of income. I right. mean, I've got a pension. And that that's a benefit of being retired. You know, yeah. There is I'm going to get paid for the rest of my life every single month. Um and while I do want the YouTube channel to succeed, obviously, um, because I want to maintain a certain lifestyle when I stop working. Mm. Um, but it doesn't have to happen. So that, that's, that's a nice kind of feeling that I can just go into it and just love it and enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's awesome. And that's, um, that kind of attitude, you just don't have, you don't stress all that stress of performing is gone. You want it to, and you're going to do your best. You're hundred percent, especially I know military people and you don't half ass anything and that's kind of ingrained in your blood, you know? So yeah, yeah, I think your channel is going to blow up, man. I just, I honestly, when I started watching your videos, I'm like, why does this dude only have 700 subscribers? Because it's really a fantastic channel. I mean, honestly, if if I had not met you in VRA and and all that, I would still be watching your channel. I would go, Oh man, I'm going to subscribe to this guy's channel. Cause it's well, some great content. So just keep that up. It. And it's awesome. I will. Yeah. And you know, as you know, improving the 1% each time, that's what we're trying to do. And, and yeah. one day if it hits, it hits, that's great. If not, I'm just having fun doing it. Well, yeah. honestly, I think it will because you're, you're, you're in a, uh, a demographic that is absolutely nailing it the last few years and it's mm-hmm. not going yeah. away. <clears throat> uh, yeah. You know, honesty. And I, I, I love everything that's tech. So things that come up that's technical in my feed, I'm watching it. But I watch stuff about iPhones, and I don't even like I don't really like iPhones. But I watch pixels, <laughs> Samsungs. Uh, it comes up about TVs. Some guys testing a, a new modem. I, I don't really care because all <laughs> modems be doing the same thing, giving you faster yeah. than you need. But uh, if it's a, if the guy's testing it, I'm probably watching it. I watch that's videos awesome. on uh, uh, guys who like to shoot their guns. Uh, yeah, Canadians can listen. Canadians like their guns yeah. too. It's, it's a complete myth that, that people think that Canadians don't like guns. <laughs> in fact, in fact, I plan to actually actually get uh, uh, take my course and get my get my license. And and the first one I Good. want is going to be shooting five five six. I decided I like five five six better than two two seven. I don't know why. Oh. 
I because don't that's know what why. In modern warfare, so don't let my kid you. No, that's that, that is <laughs> shut up. That's not true. That's not true. I I literally I watched a lot of videos. I've, I've checked it out. I've done some research, and I just like honestly, the, it just it's what I want. And I, there's a number of reasons why. So first of all, in all honesty, if I have a gun that shoots five five six, it's going to shoot two two seven. Yep. Bottom line, if I have one that only shoots two two seven, it might shoot five five six. I might blow my face off. <laughs> yeah, yeah there are reasons for that so <laughs> five five six give it to me <laughs> <laughs> uh but i was looking at one the other day and i was thinking well when i can afford that it would be kind of nice and i was like that doesn't seem right that looks more like it's some kind of you know like a battle rifle or something what is this oh, thing and, and, and it shot it shot the 762 and i was like no I don't, want, I don't want one of those just to target wow. practice up north yeah what am i going to yeah. target practice with a giant tree yeah i mean I, I, I'm, gonna <laughs> shoot, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot at 10 cans and bottles with a 762 no yeah. but here's the ir irony i don't know what it's like in the u.s i mean everything's cheaper there period but a 762 yeah. a box of 50 <clears throat> costs like 20 bucks but it costs 50 bucks for a box of 30, uh, five, five, six. Why? Yeah. Why I, I guess it's demand, supply and demand, you know, it's just, it's a, it, but here, here's the thing is it's, it's a smaller bullet. It's not that much smaller, uh, uh, but the amount of, of powder in, in the cartridge is similar. Is it not? I believe so. I'm not yeah, a huge gun person, but I believe, I it mean, is. there's different amounts between, depending on what you get, obviously. Yeah. Of course. Uh, but but nonetheless, it's anyways. I don't even know why. Sorry, I, I went way off track. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you're off. you're off some tangent. <laughs> <laughs> I went I went way off. I'm just trying to get more American viewers. There you go, Canadian. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> get in here. Uh, and also, the Canadians like realize we are allowed to like guns. We don't have yeah. to hate them and pretend that we're you know like sure we might say sorry, uh, <laughs> but we're not sorry that we like guns. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's uh, uh, that's yeah I, I i yeah i just went i did went off on my little tangent there but that was <laughs> <laughs> well my last I, question for you and then i think um i i told lionel about your um apple vision pro i think he has some things he wanted to ask you but one thing i'm yeah. curious about because this is one thing that i'm kind of like um despite how you may think all oh, this looks and I'm doing great on camera, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not scared to death, but I'm really nervous about going out in public and just talking like you do through public. And I want to know, how do you deal with that? And do you get any pushback? Like what, what do you do as a vlogger in public that, you know, doesn't create, I don't know, people yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the interesting thing was I cared a lot when I started, um, I would try and get into some solitary place or some place where people aren't there. And, and I guess at some, uh, first off, my mentality is I really don't care what people think about me. Um, mm -hmm. I, their opinion really doesn't matter to me unless it's someone that's a loved one. So um, I, I just started putting the camera out in front of me and I just started talking to it. And the amount of looks you're going to get is, I mean, they're everywhere. Oh, and yeah. the, the people that try and, photo bomb you as, as they're walking back behind you and they give you this funny look it, it, it happens all the time but um uh, I, I just try to envision that i am talking to a specific person uh i'm talking to my wife i'm talking to a family member or a friend and it's just a conversation between me and the camera and whoever's around they can be around and they can listen and they can watch but it's not going to distract me or discourage me from saying what i want to say uh and it's really just it's it's losing the give a shit factor basically yeah well, I, you know, then yeah. I, I look at it like, you know, if I can walk through public talking on the phone, I don't think twice about it. Yeah. What's the difference of That's just right, having the man. camera out in front of me? I mean, yeah. it's the same thing. So, I mean, I, I get it. I guess my biggest thing is people have this whole don't record me, you know, BS kind of attitude yes. that um, I, I, I honestly am like you. I really don't give a shit because. I walked around for a year and a half with Google glass on my face. Okay. Those things were the funniest <laughs> looking things ever. Right. And I, I wanted less. to ask about that. Actually, <laughs> I, I can care less, but I don't want to offend anybody. You yeah. know, it, and, I, and I don't want to be the asshole or a glass hole. Glass hole. It used to be called. Yeah. <laughs> so that was, that is true. And, and especially it's usually when you're going into a, a an establishment, you know, if you walk in with your camera and you're filming, and they say, "Hey, no, no filming." Well, you just turn it off. I mean, it's it's right. just you don't need everything, uh, and it's just one of those things. 
Um, yeah. But it happens less often than, than you think. I mean, I walked onto a plane and a lot of planes these days are, they're like, don't film the crew. Don't, you know, that kind of, because they've mm. been getting in a lot of trouble from the, the actions they've been taking. But a couple have been just like, hey, and, and you'd see that in yeah. the Apple Vision Pro video. This one stewardess was just like, what's up? So, yeah, I love um, that interview you did with the pilot. And that was awesome. And did you know, just so you know, you probably didn't know this. Do you fly Delta a lot? I do. Yeah. Okay, there's an unknown little secret, and I plan on doing this when I fly to Germany because I'm flying Delta. Okay. The pilots carry trading cards, and yes. you have to specifically ask them for it. Oh, you already knew about that. Okay. I did you get your trading it, yeah. card? Uh, my son did. Nice. I have a... Uh, that sounds like something that would have been popular in the 1970s. Have they been doing this for a long time? It, prob it probably is. It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, and okay. I did. So yeah. <laughs> my plan is my, my plan is I have a Delta Amex, okay, oh, yeah. and this card is twenty five percent of that aircraft you see on the front. They oh, chopped it up and made a oh, very yeah. limited run of cards. And I remember getting my invite from Amex. I'm like, hell yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not like huge aviation guy, but I love airplanes. I have since yeah. I was little. Um, when I lived in California, I lived right next to El Toro Air Force Base, when it was actually still an Air Force Base. And I used to watch all the F 18s and the F 4s. And I used to go watch the Blue Angels. And I was, you know, enamored with it. So I'm going to be like, one, I'll show you mine if you give me yours. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that base destroyed in Independence Day? <laughs> it was. It was. That was the one. Yeah. And, and then Clinton. Didn't you know, son? It. It's been destroyed. <laughs> It's yeah. gone. But <laughs> anyway, so I was just you know, uh, kind of curious about that. And and you, you know, yeah, I guess you basically, you know, again, already kind of affirmed what I already thought. But, you know, I just kind of curious from somebody that uh, you're so successful at it. I'm like, okay, is there a trick? No trick. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, just, just do it because, I mean, people can care all they want. But the bottom line is, what do you care about? And what do you want your audience to know? So, you, yep. you know what I think, though, is, is that most people actually just have a self-consciousness about it and just assume yeah. that people actually are going to be like, what's he doing? And, and, but they know already <clears throat> because they see it every day. Everyone yeah. else doing it. There are people doing TikTok dances in the middle of the street. And yeah. if all you're doing is holding a camera out going, yeah, me and my family are going to this place. You don't you don't look any different than the guy who yeah. doesn't have the camera. Um, even when I was economy. walking last year out in the forest, <laughs> I still was worried someone was going to come along. And somebody did pass me at one point when I was doing this on the trail. I thought I was the only one there. Somebody went by and I was like doing my vlog thing. I stopped it because in yeah. my mind, I was still thinking, oh, my God, somebody's going to see it. By yeah. the way, I, I did I, just because I I. I think it's funny and I wanted someone to actually see it. I actually forgot. I actually have to hit the share button in order to do it. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it it's uh, it's kind of humorous, but I just going to, if I have to put it on there now, right. Uh, is it's it, is it no, it's on a, yeah. where do I, where do I put this? Uh, oh, show on stream. Okay. So I have to put that up there and then hit the button. Okay. <clears throat> see, I'm learning is, too. Is that your rock? Right. Well, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> if I were reviewing this case as a case <laughs> reviewer for the production of that, I'd probably give this a pretty low rating because, well, it's cool and it looks nice. Yeah, I thought it would be bigger than this. <laughs> it's more of an opening. Uh, it's. <laughs> God, I want to call it a grotto, but I think that's something. See, I know, I know nothing about what I'm talking about, but at least I <laughs> own that. Yeah, obviously. that's good. Or I may have decided to take a trip somewhere else first, but this is not the biggest cave I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that's awesome. That's an honest uh, opinion. That's, that's exactly what you need to give is an honest opinion. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I, I honestly, I, I have other tools to to do better than that now. To be honest with you, I just, yeah, yeah. I have to be able to get out to do it, and it's most likely not going to happen this summer. I might get a chance to go somewhere and maybe do a little something. Uh, I just did a little bit of a test thing. 
um, just just going down the road several miles yeah. uh, to a to a small pond near the lake. Uh, well, actually, I was actually pretty much at that the. That was lake a really good video, too, by the way. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks, thanks, uh, and it was I literally I shot it on my phone with the uh, Black Magic camera app on my okay. Pixel phone, uh, <clears throat> which is new to Pixel phone, and and I decided to shoot it straight to Rec Seven Hundred Nine. And not try to do any outside uh, editing because I wanted to see what it'd be like if I just wanted to do a quick video and quick edit. Yeah. And I edited it while I was still there, sitting in the shade, um, and did everything, and then uploaded to YouTube after I got home because it was really bad signal there. <laughs> it would have yeah. taken got home anyways. I got home. It took five seconds. Boom, gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it was all and it was all done. I didn't put any any titles in it or anything like that. I didn't do any voiceover. I just added the music and put it on. So the entire process took me close to a half an hour to edit it because I was sitting there on my phone yep. one clip at a time adding a special you know an effect or whatever in the transitions so what I'm asked what I what I'm asking what I haven't asked yet what I'm curious about is uh uh what do you use to edit your videos audio and uh video and and are it two or more different programs yeah so uh, I I have a subscription to Adobe. So I have Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, that's okay. the primary one that I use uh, for the long form videos. Um, but there's, and and it's really the only one. And then for music, I, I also uh, have Artlist.io access. Okay. So that, that one like is that. The, nice. the, you know, it's got, whether it's music or video and things, you know, graphics, things like that. And it's, it's a pretty good source. I want to look at some other ones and see if there's better options out there. But for now, it's, yeah. it's doing what it needs to do. Um, and then on my phone, there's a there's an app that I use just for shorts, and it's called Video Leap. Um, and it oh yeah, I've just, heard of it. Yeah. Just for shorts, it's I mean it's it's pretty useful. It's quick. It's easy. Uh, you can add music within the app and titles and all those and transitions and everything else. And so um, for the shorts, that's generally if I'm shooting on my phone, you might as well just edit on your phone and be done with it. Um, so that's that's really the the biggest um sources that i use is just those three and then of course adobe stock has some uh some things that because of the yeah. subscription status i can yeah pull like five assets a month or something like that and i do that sometimes for those more difficult to find aerials like in a national park or things like that yeah that's that's something i haven't delved yet into yet either i feel honestly and this is just me that i don't want to use um b-roll i haven't shot myself until i learn how to do it myself and and, and it's just me i just feel like i can no, don't that, that's not what other people yeah. i'm saying people need to do what they're comfortable with yeah. learn at the pace they learn at uh yeah. take the advice of people they feel is giving them the good advice i'm not an expert i'm the one trying to learn uh yeah. but Same. one thing i will say is i dumped into davinci resolve because i haven't used premiere in 25 years and I was confusing even then, but I knew how to use it. There's no way you could pay me to go back to Adobe Premiere Pro. Not because it's not good, but because everything that it can do, I can get in DaVinci Resolve for yeah. free. And yeah. then once I do decide to pay for it, even more. And as yeah, for, you, you know, yeah. color grading, color correcting, you can't beat it. There's nothing on the market that does. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, you know, so many people say uh that which one of us about... is beeping <laughs> that's me ah oh, <laughs> i think my light's gonna die soon what is going on <laughs> i plugged it in i'm well, sorry it, go go it, it's, on no it's it's not it's not about the equipment um i have seen yeah. people that go out with an iphone or an android and shoot a video that gets Two million views. Oh yeah, and all they did was edit on their phone, and so it's about yeah. content. Uh, yeah. And so it doesn't really matter what you're actually using as a as a tool. Um, I started using it because we homeschool our son, and so I could get a discount on the subscription service. And it is a powerful tool. It does have a steep learning curve. <laughs> yeah, it does. Me, it I, does. I, I but if you're good at it, of it, if you're good at it, then you're good at it. It's as simple as it. Yeah. And it works. But DaVinci is a great, I mean, a great program. Uh, I've used it many years ago and I haven't tried it since, but I'm sure it's very intuitive and it gets the job done. It's all the, it's all you need. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I actually have to turn on a different light because this is going to be, <laughs> you're good. Gonna think the smoke <laughs> alarm is on. I will no, be right back. 
You're fine. Uh, I I use the cap cut. Um, I started out okay. using um, it video proc vlogger. Uh, it was free, and um, I struggled with it. And then I came across cap cut. I'm like, oh, let me give this a try. It was free too. And I was like, wow, this blows video proc away. So I actually bought their pro, which is like 69 bucks a year. And it gives you yeah. way more capabilities and it gives you, you know, things that um, like some of their um, stock images and videos and transitions and all kinds of cool stuff that you can add. So uh, yeah. I pretty much do, and it, they have a really good app too for the phone and it works really, really well. Yeah. So, and yeah. you know, and, whatever tool works best, that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, I just, once I figured I was going to learn Premiere Pro and Photoshop, I might as well just go all yeah. in and, and stick with it. Yeah. I actually have an Adobe subscription just for Adobe Acrobat. My wife is a um, medical yeah. professional and I do a lot of PDF editing for her practice. Um, yeah. And they had the Adobe Express advanced was free with it so i've been using that for basically it's a canva but with adobe yeah. and yep. it's just as yeah. proficient it works great that's what i use to create thumbnails and yeah. thumbnails has always been something i struggle with but i what i've started to do is pull sections of the video out to use for the thumbnail and then add you know like on that video for the samsung and my watch you know i you know, I stared yep. at the camera yep. for a minute so I could pull that still out, you know. <laughs> right. So, uh, you know, I think that's actually started working a lot better. Um, Good. So, that's, and that's yeah. something I, I don't do well. I need to re pre plan the, the thumbnails uh, and, and actually, you know, set the stage for them because you, you'll get a better product than pulling out of a video unless you are doing what you're doing. And that is, you know, on purpose sitting there and freezing yourself in a certain pixel frame to, to pull that off. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and Canva, I use that as well. That's exactly there. You go. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait. All of us at the same time. One, yeah. two, three. There we go. Thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> There's our thumbnail for the episode. There you go. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Canva's a yeah. good tool. I, I, even, I mean, the free one as well. You've got a lot of capability there, and and I, I've been using that for all our thumbnails as well. So, technology is great, and I've been using AI which uh, has yeah, been useful in so many different areas. Uh, but in particular, it's been useful for kind of the scripting and uh, some of the voiceovers that I've been doing. Um, mm -hmm. It's, it does an amazing job. You get the, the bait, you get the 80% solution, tweak it to your 20% you really need for yourself. And man, I, once I found that tool, I've been, I've been relying on it for, for ideas, for scripting, for all kinds of things. Now, you see, that, that's exactly because we were talking about this actually before you came on. And, and that's kind of a thing that I like because I noticed that the trend going into uh, AI with people who are doing vlogging, uh, it, it, everything that works that is good always has something that goes a little negative in a different direction slightly for yeah. some. And it, it, why is it flickering now? Everything's going to go wrong. <laughs> with Anyways, <laughs> it, it, it's, have I done something? Stop it. It's the poltergeist. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, now I'm going to lose my train of thought. Oh, the AI. Uh, yeah, so what I was saying was some of the people that are vlogging are getting to the point where they go out with their camera, they walk around, they do their stuff, and they do everything, and they get an AI script. They don't edit it. They yeah. just ask it for an idea, say basically, okay, uh, I need a script for someone vlogging, walking down a trail next to a river, they see a mountain trail, they go up that, and then it cuts to the scene of getting into a minivan, a uh, Volkswagen Beetle or whatever. Uh, then they're driving down the road with one person, uh, he's got his hands up in the sunroof, uh, and then we're having drinks at the at the pub next to the highway. Uh, you, I need a script for that. that. I gotta write that down. Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and then you could tell because it, it's just so mechanical, and they use the AI voice, the AI script, they don't edit it. And I'm thinking, why did you even do it then? Just show the video and put some captions. It would be more interesting. But when you yeah. use AI the way you're describing it to, to, to do a, a script, or if you want it to be something really serious, like a big, long one, you might even storyboard the idea. Yeah. Uh, and you could get it to do that, too. Uh, and, and get your script, you edit it, and you do this stuff. And, and this is exactly what I was talking about. So I, I think you're on the right track. So basically, you use it just to say, okay, 
I need to tweak the idea I have. And then once it tweaks it, you tweak it more. Yeah. To, yeah. to, to match your content. Is that correct? And, and that's just it. It's just another yeah. tool, um, yeah. but it's not going to replace the mind. You know, this is, this is where yeah. the ideas come from. This is where, you know, you're, you're going to be able to relate to your audience. You're going to be able to right. um, come up with ideas and solutions to their problems. Yeah. And uh, AI isn't going to do that. It's going to give you some, some, maybe some smooth words and some good transitions and, and some ideas, but it's a tool and you've got to try to treat it as that. Yeah. And, 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 and with that, I automatically have to demonstrate how interesting AI can be or funny. Oh my Uh-oh. goodness. Oh no, no, no. This, this is actually, it's actually kind of funny when I, wait a minute, I gotta make sure the volume goes up here. Uh, Hello, chat GPT. I'm just wondering, should I use AI to write a script? Should I write it myself or should I just let AI do everything for me? <laughs> I'm not hearing it. Are you hearing it? No. What, what's, what's, why is it not? I did this before and it went through the microphone no problem. Now that's he likes, the he likes to play with uh, with uh, Chat GBT and Jim and I and, and, and well, Copilot. The reason the reason why is because I wanted to see what it said, but it, it luckily it does give me a transcript. So it just yeah. says it says, and this is I like this right there. Well, right off that says it depends on what you want to achieve and your preference. If you're looking for creative control and a personal touch, writing the script yourself might be more satisfying. However, a, using AI can help generate ideas, provide structure, or even help with writer's block. So even the AI is saying, don't rely on me. Use hey, me as a that's tool. Good. That means yeah. that, you know, the T2 isn't going to take over the world here. Terminator <laughs> yeah, stuff, so right? far, so far. So but far. if I ask, if I ask Gemini that question, though, it'll probably say, I can't answer that question. I'm only a <laughs> large learning model. Uh, yeah. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Google. I love you. But you not ready. <laughs> <laughs> chat gpt's for ahead which one do you use for your ai just the tools built into the services you have or do you uh, use chat yeah, gpt or chat gpt uh has yeah. kind of been my go-to i've tried gemini uh and, and it's given me a few ideas but i think chat gpt is more the um the further along solution at this point it is now honestly when they first put the gemini out there it was like this far ahead but then chat gpt just like said you yeah. know what uh I'm Usain Bolt and you're Ben Johnson. Get off the steroids. <laughs> you're, you're out of the race. Um, I'm glad. You, I'm glad somebody got that back. joke because a lot of Americans don't back. even know who Ben Johnson was. <laughs> Fast, fastest man in the world on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I what I find is um, my use of AEI is mostly with Gemini only because um, again, I pay for a two terabyte plan with Google for my yeah. online storage. And it comes with the Gemini pro or advanced or whatever they're calling it now. So it's the elevated model, but I don't really ask it to give me my scripting. I'll typically, I don't typically like script out completely. I'll, I'll bullet point. And I'm, I'm much better at that because I find that if I, script too much then i start reading it like this and i look really yeah. robotic and it's just not comfortable for me, you know? <laughs> yep. well but yeah you're not doing a play do, it's not it's not meant to be memorized so bullet points are a lot better if you're trying to be yeah better. but what i'll do is when i edit it in cap cut and i export the srt file that i upload to youtube when i upload the video i'll take that srt file and i'll turn it in just a regular text document so then i'll go to gemini and say hey Provide me with a SEO optimized title and description for a YouTube video using the attached file. I upload wow. the file. It reads the file. So it's my own wow. words. And it just yeah. condenses what I have to say in a title and a description that's, that's got SEO keywords nice. built into it based on what I've already said. So I'm, I'm just using what I already said and just having it rearrange it for me. And then it'll give me, then I'll say, okay, give me 25 keywords and then I also say, okay, give me five key video timestamps, and it'll timestamp it. Just per- oh, wow. copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. That's that's Easy. pretty. That's pretty awesome. That's that's a good way to use AI for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, certainly better than what I just demonstrated. <laughs> that, what I just did was just for fun. 
You As we say, for shits and giggles. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. So if it's, it's see, anybody's I, time as a Canadian, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I say all the time what you said earlier. It's just a tool. Um, you yeah. know, it's like anything. Trash in, trash out. And if you're putting in, you know, the right things, you're going to get the right things out of it. If you're using it for the, you know, in the correct manner, it's going to give you what you need. That's, you know, I, I tried the whole face to sling. I tried the in video AI. It just didn't hit with me. I just seemed like I was really disconnected from my videos and the audience. And so I stopped using it. Not that there's yeah. not a place for it. I just, you know, maybe I wasn't utilizing it correct, but just, it doesn't fit for me. You know, well, um, we play thing, around with stuff, but that's about it. Yeah. I watched a, a Casey Neistat vlog. He was huge, you know, six, mm -hmm. seven yeah. years ago. And yeah, he he, he used AI at the time to write a vlog script and he followed it like verbatim. <laughs> and it was the oh, worst no. vlog I've ever seen. And Wait, it just, did he do he it on purpose? Because he was yeah, experimenting. He yeah, okay, yeah, he, all right. He was like, I want he was proving the point that the yeah. human mind yeah. is going to do a million times better than uh, an AI generated idea. Uh, and it no. did. It was it was a pretty humorous. Did, did he do story. it on his powered skateboard? He did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I have one by the way, and they're fun. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no, have you done right. a, have you he done He rides it with it? his yeah. um yeah. Apple Vision Pro. He rides it I, I got, yeah, I, I got to check that out. I'm going to I'm going to be checking that out. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. a, I, I would a, wish I had one. A review of a the two two Meepo electric skateboards. The one I have still. The other I gave my my uh, my eighteen year old. Um, and yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. It really is. It's a little terrifying yeah. when you got your seven year old in between standing on the board with you and you're going thirty two miles an hour. But it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't step off, son. No matter what you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's uh I, I I watched that um you know the Apple Vision Pro pot the uh video and yeah of course it brought a lot of memories back to the Google Glass scenario. It wasn't obviously that advanced, but um yeah, what I mean, was it sketch driving in it? Because to me that just doesn't seem like it would be <laughs> like I was watching like, man, I see people do it all the time. I'm like, man, I just don't know yeah. about that. It wasn't uh it's surprisingly like vivid and clear the, the image that's projected on your eyes and there was no lag. Um, the annoying part was what you saw in the video, the little warnings about, Hey, you're moving too fast or, you know, glitching out with the apps appearing, things like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> would I do it on a normal basis? Heck no. uh, I, don't, I, don't have the app. <laughs> I don't have it anymore. I wanted to just experiment and try with it. It's not where it, it needs to be. Yeah. But it was it was an interesting experience, and and flying on a plane to watching a movie with it was, I mean that's, oh. I mean it's a three thousand dollar theater on your. I face. you know what I I I have to say that I do actually have one tiny little bit in common with you guys, and that I did get an opportunity to test out something nice. way before either one of those, and that was back in the days when the, the glasses you put on just had the little movie screen thing. That's it. All it was oh, wow. for plug it in and whatever video source went into it that's what you were watching was it CRT? Uh, my dad was a tech wondering. guy back then in the day and uh, he's one of the reasons i got yeah, into right. loving tech and he'd come home and he'd have a new phone and and this this and a keyboard that all you did was put this box down and i put lasers on the table uh, which was a huge failure as we all know now yeah. and for many reasons the lag is disgusting <laughs> yeah <laughs> Seventy thousand milliseconds of you know, Anyways, uh, and then one day he said, you know, we were, uh, he said, well, you want to watch a movie? And I was, uh, who was I, my late teens or early 20s? I can't remember. Something along that line. And he said, you want to watch a movie? And I said, yeah, we're going to watch it. And I was thinking, guy, a little teeny TV, big deal. Our old TVs were real teeny back then. And he brought out this pair of glasses and he says, put them on. Wow. And I was like, <laughs> so I sat there and I watched this movie and it made this made it look like I was watching this giant like to me right now what it what I remember it looking like was probably sitting uh eight to twelve feet from a sixty five inch TV yeah uh something like that uh that which is really incredible wow well. uh yeah and I mean don't get me wrong it was probably only six forty p or not even p because <laughs> there was no p I mean it was yeah. probably it was probably six forty i you know but but at the same time it looked better than a tube tv except that it was a little washed out 
but it made it feel more like you're watching a movie screen in a theater. Yeah. And and of course you absolutely had to have the lights out. Because right, the light yeah. bleed it just washed it right out. Yeah. But um the difference was that what I from what I did is that both you guys could actually see past what you were looking at. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I, I did not, not have that ability. <laughs> Mine was blocked off. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, your your little dinosaur clip. It blew me away, really, because that was so. And it's looking around at people in the seats, and I'm like, "What the? Yeah, yeah <laughs> it was amazing. It was, it was I mean, wild. that's that right there would I'll probably almost sell it for me. But you know, like you said, I don't need a three thousand dollar movie theater, you know, on my face. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll, I, it'll I, get there. I mean, Apple knows how to. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I, I, I think honestly, they knew what they were doing when they released this version, and it was market research. They knew the oh, no, Apple users that were yeah. going to buy it and give them feedback, and they've got something better in the works. And within a few years, we'll probably see sunglasses that are it, that, that kind of capability. Yeah, the biggest mm-hmm. the biggest difference between what they did and what Google did uh, is that um, Apple knows that they're doing market research, and they yep. know that they're going to come up with something else, and it may not be anywhere near the same. Yep. Um, but they'll do something. Um, even if they decide that this is only going to be an enterprise product and they make a smaller mm-hmm. version of it, it will happen. The yep. difference between that and Google is Google just said, let's just shelf it. And then, and then yep. three years later, well, let's, let's bring it back again, but only for business people and yeah. in certain yeah. sectors who are like going, well, it's not that good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the Apple one comes out and they go, Oh, but I can't use it with my pixel phone, but yeah. I'll get a Samsung instead. It's very niche. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Apple, Apple, Apple is uh, marketing. Samsung and Apple are the kings of marketing on the planet. Uh, yeah, they are. When it comes to tech products, they're just, just nothing, yeah. nothing that can be said about that. We know Google has their graveyard. So, <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, yeah. So, as for your, your, uh, your vlogging again, it's it, awesome. Um, I want to be able to get traveling. So you you've done a lot of traveling all over at this point already. I'm assuming uh, you've been I to have. different states and different places yep. in the world. Um, with the vlogging part of it, uh, where have you gone? Have you been outside the states? Yes, we yeah. spent 18 days in Europe uh, last September, and uh-huh. we went to nine different countries. Oh wow! Um, my favorite days. route. Wow, that's a lot. <clears throat> yeah, we, we were moving. That's true. Um, and now the country is so close. I mean, you know, we were in Italy and yeah. we went to Austria, Slovenia, and Croatia. Oh. You know, and so it's all right there. Yeah, um, it's nice. That's nice. And Croatia is definitely, I think, my number one so far in Europe. Um, when I, I lived in Germany, when I was in the Air Force for three years, and in that time, I, I visited seventeen countries, and so mm. um, wow. I'm fairly familiar with Europe. Uh, but Croatia was just. It was like a hidden gem. Now I'm sure there's other places like Greece and places I haven't been yet that are going to trump it. But right now, Croatia was pretty amazing. How long were you in Germany? Three years. Three years. Du sprichst yeah. Deutsch. Ein bisschen. <laughs> yeah, ich auch ein bisschen. Ja, ein bisschen. Ein bisschen Deutsch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me get my uh, Google Translate out here. Can you repeat that? <laughs> Hey, Mag, that, that was as obvious as possible because we basically <laughs> repeated each other. Obviously, yeah. we said very little. Yeah, I got that part, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah. They're busy. Very yeah, little. Yeah, when people ask me if I speak Spanish, I'd say, well, muy poquito. So I get it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I wouldn't, I, I don't think I would get that if you just said it, but if two people said it and the other one repeated, I would think he's probably saying very little. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I can understand it. If you said it in French, I'd understand. Un petit. Un petit. <laughs> How many languages do you speak? Uh, uno. Or that two. <laughs> okay. 1.5. Not, not even yeah. dos. Not even dos. Yeah. Same. No spy, no dos, no... Uh, how do you say uh, it? Japanese ni. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're ahead, of the, you're ahead of 90% of the people. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, you sure. know what? I, I'm, I've been trying to learn German <laughs> five years it's it's not working out i keep getting distracted and then i I get away from it yeah so i honestly if i traveled i would love to actually spend at least five days or more in each location 
just because I would seriously want to start to learn some of the languages and places I went. Not enough because time. I just uh, I love <laughs> languages. Sorry, uh, there, not enough time. I mean, I was there three years, and I had a yeah. uh, German landlord that wanted to only speak German just to help me learn it, and I was an, I learned enough to be dangerous, and I mean that's yeah. all gone, you know. Yeah, well, you know what? If it's not a passion to learn it, you're not gonna you're not gonna keep it. It's it's it's, yeah. it's a different thing. Uh, as long as you don't have anybody but, start ripping shirt off, you said what to me? <laughs> I know. <laughs> That would be bad. Oh, run, <laughs> run. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, well, yeah, I know what you're talking about, about yeah, Europe. Uh, my son loves Prague. Of course, he visited when That's he was awesome. stationed in Italy. He was there five years. He got he was a lucky SOB. Went into boot, went into boot camp, got his assignment. <laughs> he gave his list of here's my top five places. He got his number one pick in Naples, Italy, and was a land-based job assignment. <clears throat> For five years in the Navy. Wow. Wow. He never that's even he, he stepped foot on an aircraft carrier or a boat one time because I had to do this like little tour of it. And I'm wow. like, dude, you have no idea how lucky <laughs> he traveled like yeah. 23 countries. And yeah, <laughs> I mean that's crazy. Little brat. <laughs> <laughs> so he's definitely the traveled man, and I'm really looking forward to you know, we're gonna hit England. Yeah. Uh, Belgium, the Netherlands, um, Luxembourg, Germany, and of course, you know, head back home. So, I mean, literally in seven days, we're all jealous. five countries. <laughs> so, you, you're going to have a blast. That, that's, uh, that was the devil yeah. that's inside you, I yeah. think. <laughs> I, I've already told him he has to do pictures and video. I, I want to see this stuff. I know you, you said something about. Well, I'm not going to be doing a lot of vlog. You got to vlog something, man. Come on. No, 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 no. I said I wasn't going to be doing a lot of vlogging when my wife and I go to Barbados in two weeks. Oh well, no, of course not. That's that's personal yeah. stuff with your wife. I'll be oh, travel. No, I'll no, be no. doing some travel stuff, but when, we're, when I'm in uh, Barbados, most of that trip is probably just going to be drinking dirty bananas. Yeah, and no, that, that, listen, that, cabana. that's that's <laughs> listen. I would if I if I got to go to Barbados, I wouldn't vlog anything. If I got to go to Las Vegas, I wouldn't vlog anything. But you know, if yeah, I went right. to Tahiti, I would probably vlog the hell out of it because that's 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 yeah. the number one on my on my bucket list is Tahiti. Well, you got to get working on your bucket list, man. You got to. Well, it. yeah, I I I agree. Uh, first first on my bucket list, I mean, number one on my bucket list is Tahiti, but first on my bucket list is just get the hell out of the city once in a while. Do it. <laughs> uh, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta get out there, and I, I like your enthusiasm. It's, it's, it's actually, it's motivational. Um, you know, it's just like, oh, you're having so much fun. You know, you get a, a certain age uh, in your life, and you're like, you want to enjoy everything yeah. in that part, and, and, and you know, going forward, while you can still run around and jump around, you want to yeah. be able to do that well, and have fun doing it wherever you want. And you guys know it just as I do. Um, I consider myself halfway through my life. I'm, I'm shooting to 100. That's my goal. All right. So I'm, I'm 49. I'm about to be 50. And uh, life moves way too fast at this Amen. age. Tell me it's about it. I'm going to be 60 in less than a year. So Yeah. And <laughs> if you don't seize it, and, and I'm, I mean, I got a seven-year-old. So, you know, I am, I'm kind of still a kid at heart. I like to just mess mm -hmm. around and play. And I think that's a big piece of staying alive mm -hmm. and really just embracing life. And you know, just go do, man. Any chance, any chance you get, even if it's the town next door, that's kind of the message I'm trying to relay. Is I, I man, like there's, that. There's things around you, there's even if it's the town do. next door. Get moving. You start to get more motivation, and you end up wanting to go further and to other places. That makes yep. a lot of sense. I've done that before, where I've gone here and I've gone. Like, you know what? Next week, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go further. I've done that before, and I kind of like when you say you have to seize it. It just suddenly makes some pop into my head that makes a lot of sense. If you don't <laughs> seize it, it might seize up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so we should use we should use that expression. If no, figure eights. <laughs> what? I said and then eventually be running figure eights to the sequoias. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 That was great. I love how you get your, your son involved. That's pretty awesome. That's my <laughs> other bucket list place, by the way. One of the others is is that 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 has been since I was a child, though. I've always wanted to see that. Uh, incredible place, um, yeah. even more so than I want to see uh, Yosemite, which yeah. you would think yeah. Yosemite would be number one on my list, like most people, but it's not. 
that's the irony. You know, Yosemite is more about hiking. Uh, they got the sequoias there, but uh, Sequoia National Park really is, I mean, just yeah, it's, stop the off the place. it's there. Yeah. It's just, you go out. And yeah. Well, but the get... thing about Yosemite is that, you know, <laughs> you, you want to see one thing versus another thing. You'd be looking at a lot of travel and a lot of weight it behind is. somebody it's... else who's stupidly it's... trying to feed bears and chase moose down with a camera <laughs> every year. Yeah. There's videos on the internet of idiots going, why is that buffalo coming after my mother? Because she got out of the car. Yeah, hey, man. the Darwin hey. Award. Jesse, what, what was your what was your idea? You talked about <laughs> uh, dumb people. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah, See? Chasing uh, mooses in Yosemite is a dumb thing to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're an idiot. It's out there. You're, yeah, a hundred percent. You know, I will tell you one thing. We obviously have moose in Canada, and depending on where you go in Canada, you may see them more or less in some places. People in Canada don't get out of their damn cars to see the moose. They're we smart. know better. <laughs> yeah. We know. But the but in all fairness, most Americans don't either. It's just those few idiot tourists. Who may be from other parts of America, maybe from Canada, maybe from Europe, and they just say, "Oh my God, a moose or a buffalo or a bison or you know, mm -hmm. they're all dangerous. They're wild animals. They weigh thousands of pounds. They could some of them can kill a grizzly bear for crying out yeah. loud. Yeah. A moose could theoretically kill a grizzly bear. Mm -hmm. I ain't touching one. <laughs> I ain't getting yeah. here. Uh, a photo lens. Yes, but I. But that said, I did one time. And in my defense, I was a stupid young person. Y'all were. <laughs> uh, I was hitchhiking. Dumb enough itself. Uh, but okay. that was back in the day when people actually did that. Yeah, it was normal. Didn't disappear. <laughs> and, and we saw a moose. And I, and I and he stopped. He says, you want to take a picture? Because he knew I had a camera. The guy gave, was giving me a ride. And I said, yeah, yeah, I want to take a picture. I got out of the car. The moose was as close to me at one point is the TV is I'm looking at, which just say is yeah, yeah. a little further than the camera. And, and I just kept getting closer to it and it turned and it went into the bush horns. I don't 12 feet wide, whatever it is, maybe more. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, antlers rather not horns. Yeah. Uh, and it went into this thick bush, did not break a single branch. And the only thing I could think of was when it did that is it had so much grace and poise in deciding it wanted to leave instead of kill me, that mm. had it decided to turn and kill me, the fact that it could walk into those bushes without breaking a branch, yeah. it could have easily picked which side of its antlers it wanted to use to kill me. Yes, easily. And not miss. And I, I, was like, I got back in the car and the guy said, you know, you're an idiot. And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> so... <laughs> and to wake matters worse, I lost the damn film. I never oh, even got to get no. it developed. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Damn. Damn. So th listen, I was lucky. Don't do that, people, if you're watching. Yeah. Yeah, no Keep kidding. your distance. Tell a photo lens. If you don't got one, just look from a distance. Hey, every, I, every phone's you. got a telephoto lens on it now these days. Jeez. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And some of them aren't as good as others. They don't mm. have 10 times zoom or five times and then maybe two times zoom on top of that to get a half yeah. decent picture. Get a blurry one. So yeah. what? You know, if you need to get it closer, get a blur or take the picture from further away and crop it in. Right. You know, it's it's better to have that and then your children can still see you later. Yeah, for real. Or your mother or your grandfather or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but that's well, that's that's our public safety announcement for today yeah, yeah PSA, PSA. well i want to be respectful of your time we're a little over an hour um so yeah, it's it's been a really awesome having you on and the, some great stories and and i look forward to following your blog as you continue your travels through the states and and ultimately Canada eventually, because he's been bugging the shit out of me to get up to Toronto. <laughs> so eventually I'll be taking a trip to Toronto, Good. probably to go watch a Formula One race or an Indy car or something. It um, won't be Formula but, One. We don't have it here. <laughs> it's Indy. Uh -huh. I thought they no, had you, Formula, uh, Formula One is in Montreal, unless they cancel oh, okay. that. I think right, they right, still right. have it. Yeah, yeah. No, they Vancouver as well, that. but Vancouver's a little far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so, you know, I'm hopefully I don't think mine's going to be as good as yours, but uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't have imposter okay. syndrome. You know, I'm not you, comparing myself, but 
<laughs> you're doing well on your other channels so obviously you got something going right and i just yeah. appreciate the opportunity to chat with you you're two two very cool guys uh and i would never would have met you guys if if robert it weren't for you and reaching out to me and i, I thanks for that um one day yeah. smiling i would love to meet you in person and i guarantee you i will reach out and stay in touch if we're gonna get to canada and we're in your area i'll i'll let you know well that 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 that'd be awesome man it'd be because obviously when you come to toronto it's things you want to see and i'll be able to yeah. tell you what not to bother because you hey, there be you go impressed. well i'm gonna hey, drag you going, out, out going, going up into the me. cn tower ironically enough going up into the cn tower is one of the things and the only reason why right. is because until they build that building in oklahoma why oklahoma i don't know <laughs> yeah the yeah. very top observation deck in the cn tower is still taller than anything that you can go into in the united states of america nice. um but that won't be forever. <laughs> the Oklahoma building is going to be taller than that. So, yeah, you can actually go up higher in there than you can on top of the uh, One World Trade Center. All right. Well, I'll expect you to be the, the tour guide. Can I drag you out of the house and you can, you can walk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of other great things. I mean, you travel a lot, so you like food. Toronto. If you haven't figured it out yet, things. he talks a lot. So just be prepared for yeah. that. Hey, oh, no, that. That's, OK. All right. <laughs> if we're going to be like that. <laughs> then we're gonna we're gonna get into start talking about hockey and how yeah. your team sucks. Right, My right, team's right. better yes. than your team. Yes. Oh, well, man, no, I actually I can't do that because actually my team sucks and your team's going to win the Stanley Cup. But we're not going to go there right now. <laughs> Anyways, it, it honestly it's been great, great talking to you. Great having yeah. you on the show, and I, you. I definitely look forward to talking to you again. And definitely when you need, when you get up to Canada, uh, let me know. And as soon as you get into the into anywhere near Toronto or even Montreal. Uh, I can, I can, uh, I can uh, tell you some places to meet. Maybe even meet up with you. And who knows? Maybe by the time you get here, Robert will have made up his mind, and we can actually all right. hang out. Have a beer out in the local. Uh, yeah. What is it? Go get a twofer. <laughs> we'll get you go. <laughs> but you well, know, maybe, social media. Maybe not. <laughs> is, ironically, Lionel and I met on social media when <laughs> Google Plus was Google still. Plus. I don't know if you remember that. Oh wow. Well. Uh, we're big Android guys, big tech guys, yep. and it's we've been on Google Plus for a long time. Of course, Google did its Google thing and disbanded, it, and we just continued <laughs> talking <laughs> elsewhere, and we just we got to become really good friends, and we've probably known each other, gosh, it's got to be 15 years now. Wow. Uh, awesome. Oh, God, it is getting close to that. Now yeah, it's, I think about it, it's, it's been a long Holy time. Crap, it has been a long time. Yeah, so I've, I've actually yeah. forged a lot of good friendships through online communities. Uh, I used to go to a conference every year in Dallas with an Android um, developer conference and some really amazing oh, God, people. I forgot so about that. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. always jealous I couldn't go. I remember about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Did that die off too? Oh yeah, because what's his name couldn't do it anymore. He just he was tired of being the sole person and putting his money out. And I don't blame him. Oh know. yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. But that being said, uh, you know, it's I've met a lot of amazing people, and it looks like you're going to be turning out to be another one of those amazing people. So <laughs> I appreciate Thank you coming you. on yeah. and, and inter yeah. interacting. Uh, it's it's been it's definitely been awesome. So uh, who knows? Maybe we time. can make this a, a regular thing. You know, who knows? Hey, I'm game. I'm game. I am. We can always talk tech. We can always talk travel. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of yeah, that. Yeah, flying yeah, around lots, everywhere. Lots of that. I have. I have one last question because it's Bring it's it. going to drive me nuts if I don't ask it. Over your right shoulder, what am I uh, looking at? Yeah, so that is a <laughs> uh, when you leave a unit um, in in the military. Oftentimes, oh, especially as an officer, they're going to give you kind of a going away thing. Uh, this one is a mock up of an F thirty five. It's one of the last aircraft I worked. Oh, and our, okay. our unit was called the Wizards. And so mm. this is uh, an actually a uh, uh, a Gandalf sta staff. Oh, uh, so okay. I was going to say that. Kind yeah. of the mix See, between the, military. My and... mind. Yeah, sorry. My mind. Uh, I like, okay, Boston, <laughs> Irish, <laughs> Shillelagh. <laughs> not irish no but that's what that's what was going through my mind but that's a much much cooler story what you just said i think that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> awesome <laughs> well good deal well I, mean, right. I appreciate it guys thank you uh, for the opportunity I, I i can't thank you enough this has been this has been way more fun than i ever imagined it would be and like <laughs> yeah. I said, you guys are freaking cool dudes and i can't oh. wait to stay in touch with you 
I'm glad we're recording that. Yeah. <laughs> we, can, yeah. we, we need proof. We can let everybody Video know. Or it didn't know. Happen, no. <laughs> and and I gotta yeah. tell you, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna publicize your your podcast channel because I think you you provide value and I think you guys are entertaining and uh, so you can count on that. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, thank, thank you, so you much. very much. Oh, speaking of which, by the way, we do have to say to everyone else watching, well, listening, it's a little different if you're just listening, yeah. but watching, like, subscribe, bell icon. Yep. Am I doing and that don't in the forget, right direction? It is yeah, <laughs> youtube.com at adventure family vlog. So if you're Definitely. listening on the audio podcast, you can just write that down. Or if you're watching, click the link, go check his stuff out. It's amazing. Great education. It's you can't go wrong. So thanks, guys. Jesse, thanks again. And uh, we're going to sign out. I'm Robert from the U.S. Lionel from Toronto, Canada. <laughs> All right. We'll I'm Jesse from you guys Canada. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you, guys. Thanks Take a lot. care. Bye. <laughs> Bye.